What's up guys, Zep from the Torpid Gaming Network here and today we are going to be making your first Dungeons & Dragons streaming overlay. The software that we're going to use is called GIMP. It's totally free and can do everything that we need to make a perfect looking overlay for our single camera stream. We could use Photoshop, but a lot of people don't have that, and especially if you're just starting out making content, you don't want to shell out the money for that program. So we're going to use something that's absolutely free. It's called GIMP. Go to www.gimp.org and download this software. It's for Mac, Windows, they have it for everything. So let's start making our overlay. So we're going to make a new image. It's going to be 1920 by 1080. We're going to hit OK. And what we're going to do is that we're going to use a royalty free image as the base layer for this. You can go to pexels.com slash royalty free images. That'll be in the description to download some kind of cool looking texture. I chose brick. So I went to that website. I downloaded the image and now I'm just going to drag it over here just onto the background and it's going to pop up this image. We're just going to say convert it. Why not? Now here's our image. It looks so cool. So next step we are going to go down here we're going to make a new layer and we're going to call it frame done now we are going to go to our rectangle select tool we are going to have a fixed make sure you hit uh, rounded edge rounded corners 28.5 is a nice rounded edge just because we want to give we want to make it look like natural we don't want to make it just look like a camera so then make sure you have a fixed aspect ratio 16 by 9 and so now when we draw this, it's going to have a fixed aspect ratio. So we're going to make it, you know, large enough that you can see, but small enough that I can, that you can put text and logos around it. So after we do that, this is now our rectangle. Maybe we want something bigger. So we'll click off. We'll, we'll draw something a little bit bigger. Boom. So this is going to, this is going to be our frame and we're going to fill it. Make sure that you have green selected. This is going to be really, really important to have full green, so green 255. And the reason why we do this is after we finish this in Streamlabs, we are gonna use a filter to take that green and make it go away and be transparent so we can put our camera behind it. So we are gonna fill, use the paint bucket tool right here to fill everything with green. Now go back to your rectangle select tool and select the entire thing because this just looks like a green box it's just going to be a cutout it's going to be boring we're going to add a glow to it to kind of make it look like it's supposed to be there so take your rectangle select tool now select the entire thing and go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and then we're going to make sure to click the unlink take the x and y to zero color let's do something fun fun and festive so let's let's have a pink or purple color i like that one and then we're going to drop make the opacity to 2 which which is the highest and if you want to blur it out if you want to put the blur radius out a little bit more go ahead i kind of like it down around here i think this looks great so i'm going to be i'm going to finish that i'm going to hit okay and then now this frame is good to go. We're almost done. This didn't take very long. We are going to find the move tool, which is right here. And then now we can move this whole thing around and you can use the arrow keys if you want, where we are just gonna center it as best we can and call it good. So now there's, we're gonna put it up on the top. So there's ample room for us to put some text over on these sides and also our logos down at the bottom. So this is it. We've made our overlay, we're done. That took 30 seconds. And then now all we have to do is save it. So we're gonna export it as a PNG. We'll just put it on the desktop for now. And then we'll call it frame. And yep, all this is good, export it. All right, we are done making our image. This is gonna look great. So let's hop back into Streamlabs and show you how to set it up. All right, so we're back in Streamlabs OBS and we're ready to build our scene. We're gonna do this exactly the same way that we did it in the previous video, but we're gonna integrate this frame. 
So let's build our scene. So first, we're, we're gonna need an audio input capture device. We're gonna use our Yeti microphone. That's what I'm talking on right now. And now we're gonna add the frame that we just made. So we're gonna go add an image and then we're gonna add a new source. We can call it overlay and add a source and we will browse and find that file. It's right here, open it up. And here is our frame. So now it just, looks like a frame but it's got a big green splotch on it so how are we going to turn that big green mark into a window where we can put our camera watch so we're going to right click it and just as we added the filter on the yeti microphone we are going to add a filter to this image and it is going to be a color key and what this will do it'll come up it'll be green we want it to stay green and it's starting to get a little bit darker here but it's not quite fully a window yet so we're going to bump up the similarity just enough so it goes all the way black. So if you look, you can go it down, it's green, and bump it up, and it looks like at about 100, 105, it's gonna be all the way black without taking away any other color in this image. So now that we've done the color key in our overlay, we need to add our webcam. So we're gonna add a source, it's gonna be a video capture device. We're gonna use the existing source that we already made because this is working because we just did this in our last video. This is the same Logitech C920 webcam. So we're gonna add this existing source. But now it's over the overlay. So how do we fix that? Think of, think of these sources as layers. So the one on the top is gonna to be over the one on the bottom. So we just need to drag this one down so it's below the overlay and boom. Now I'm, now I'm in the overlay, I'm in the window, I'm looking good. And if I wanna make it so you can see a little bit more of me, I can shrink it back down just so I am right there, just so I'm just bleeding over the edges a little bit. I'm filling up the frame. Last thing that we need to do is add some titles. So let's do, let's do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna add some text, add source. And you know, remember this, our stream is called the Hyper Friends. So let's keep, let's keep streaming the hyper friends. Same thing, outline, outline color, black, and it's a four. So now this is over here, we're gonna drop it down into the center, make it a little bit bigger just so people can watch the hyper friends. And this is it. We've built our scene exactly the same way we did before, but now it looks so much better. And we can add, if you guys wanna add a logo down on the bottom, you can totally do that. What I like doing is I like adding character names down on this side and this side, depending on where people are sitting, just so when people tune in, they can see the characters and where people are sitting. And after you finish doing all of your logos, putting your text where you want it, we're done. We made an overlay in less than five minutes. We're ready to stream D&D. &D. So if you had fun, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a comment, a subscription, a like to the Torpid Gaming Network. And if you have any specific requests for training videos for Dungeons & Dragons streaming, we'd love to hear about them, so drop them in the comments. Thanks, guys.